Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Zamora. So today I'm going to tell y'all about the time I was fired from Walmart. Now I know I have a previous clip and yes, that's from a different time. That's from a few months back, but I'm here now to continue with my story. Okay. Now I'm going to tell y'all about these mess. Okay, first things first. I was zoning. I was a zoner. For those of you all who may not know what a zoner is, basically you just put all the items in order. So when you go into the store, you see it's all nicely lined up and neat, organized. That's what I did. So I was doing that, going on about my business, and it was like 6.30 a.m. I worked overnight, and I used to get out at 7 in the morning. But, um, AKA 6.51, I was out the door because you could leave 10 minutes earlier and then your clock out time. So, um, one of the support managers came up to me and he was like, hey, such and such needs to see you before you leave. So make sure you get up with him. I'm like, okay, cool. Do I need to go to the office or anything? He's like, no, he's going to come to the floor and get with you. I'm like, okay. Look down at my no notice is six thirty. I'm like, okay. Noted, kept moving. Ten minutes come by. Pretty much I was pretty much done. So I'm just like touching up, going back over stuff, making sure everything good. The zone A one. So I noticed it's like six forty, still no manager. I start asking people where had they seen him. What, did they know where he was? Anything. Everybody was like, no, you know, nobody knew where he was. Okay. So by this time, it's like 6.51. Y'all know, I told y'all I'd be gone 6.51. I normally be pulling off first and skirt, skirt, talking to go home. So now I'm having to look for him. Like, what? what is it that you need to talk to me about? Because it can't be too important because you have not came to me and found me like the other manager says you were going to do. So, I finally run into him. At this time, it's like 7 o'clock. He was in the back area by the restrooms and by the shoes. I happened to meet up with him. He looked at me and was about to walk off. Now, he looked confused, upset. I don't know what he was going through. But I'm like, um, excuse me, they said you need to talk to me. This fool says, oh, I think such and such in the back for you. You think or you know. Like, you're the head overnight manager. You know what's going on. You know what's going on. Like, that's that stupid stuff. Anyways, so I'm just looking like, okay, I'm not thinking too much of nothing of it. And uh, I didn't, y'all, it was ridiculous. So I go on to the back office. Um, it's the other support manager. He's like, oh, Zamora, come on in, close the door, close the door. And it was a CSM in there. I guess they always have to have a lady present when it's another lady in there getting a coaching or talking to another male, I'm assuming. So I sit down, close the door, and he's like, do you know why you're in here? I'm like, no. He's like, you're at 6.5 or 7.5 points. Now, the point system, you can only get up to five points. And after that, supposedly, the system is supposed to keep you out. So, yeah, that's the max. And after you get to five points, baby, you got to go. Now, I'm like, no, I'm not aware that I'm at 7.5 or why I'm there. Because now they have this thing called PPTO, protected time off, some craziness. And I had some time to cover why I was over my amount. And I had did that two weeks prior. I brought that up and I addressed it. And he's like, no, well, I don't know how to check in the files. I can't pull up your information in the system. So the only thing left for me to do is to terminate you. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I was about to bust out laughing in this man's face. Like, are y'all serious? So I'm just like, okay. And he was like, of course you can. Is it open door or back door? Whichever. So protocol. Basically, I have a meeting with the head store manager. The, um, who else? The, the top the supervisors, general managers, all of that. 
So I could have a little meeting with them if I wanted my job back or to, you know, explain why my points were there. And he was like, I can talk, also talk to personnel. Mind y'all, personnel was never there. We um, They had, um, they had down it to one person. So it was just one person in personnel. She was hardly ever there. She didn't have a set schedule. She would be there here one day, not gone for weeks. They always was on vacations. Like it was a mess. But when I tell y'all I did not care, and then I was about to move two weeks Anyways, I had two more weeks at that place and I was just going to do an LOA, but God had other plans. But anyways, yeah, y'all, that's how I got by on Wally World. They tried me for real. My thing is how you go about firing somebody. It's very unprofessional. You wait till after you get the work out of me. Then you send me on my way. Oh, y'all. Then he also stated he was like, Oh, um, they just sent us an email and we have to abide by it. Hmm? Corporate ain't sending y'all no email on this was Sunday morning, y'all. This was it's a Sunday morning. So they corporate sent y'all an email on a Saturday at what time? They they I highly doubt corporate is sending y'all anything on a Saturday and or a Sunday at an odd hour like that. They sent y'all an email to terminate me. At around six ish on a Sunday morning, I highly doubt that. But you know what? They were some liars. They were very unprofessional, and I don't give a. You know what? It was a blessing in disguise. I'm all good. Um, yeah, but huh, I'm not nice in Walmart because it can be a great place of employment. It just depends on the management and how they choose to cooperate and how they decide to work together to the team lead. Like. It's ridiculous. I was over. I had been burnt out. It was a mess. But like I said, this whole, that whole experience, everything, it was definitely a blessing in disguise. But that's how I got terminated. That's my Walmart story. I may do more Walmart stories about my whole experience in depth because I was vlogging. I didn't put out any of the content yet but i can go through some of my old phones and just really maybe do about two episodes or three episodes of a day in a life or overnight working at walmart and the whole nine to break down baby because i got all the tea it was a hot mess but here y'all and oh and they also up the pay like y'all know basically you can make a decent coin at walmart now so if you're well, hell, it don't even matter how old you are. Go get your coins. Go apply. It's a decent job. Um, You can make a career out of it, but that wasn't for me. That wasn't my, that's not my purpose in life. And I'm not knocking anybody that's doing management or that's working at Walmart because, again, you can make big bank from Walmart. But, um, yeah, just do y'all research. And if not, go collect you some coins. In the meantime, do like a little, if you can do part-time, do part-time, collect you some coins, run it up. And go on about your back, go on about your way, start your business. And yeah, but, or start your business, get you some extra coins or whatever have you. But yeah, y'all, if you made it to this part of the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe. And if you ever worked at Walmart, how was it? Are you currently working there? How do you like it? Is your Walmart as unprofessional as mine was? How did they fire people at the Walmart that you work at? Y'all know, give me the rundown. I'm all for it. I can't wait to chat with y'all in the comments. And yeah, until next time, easy checking out. Make sure y'all subscribe. Later, y'all.